What is going on everybody? Today we are at the Utah International Auto Expo. We're gonna check out some new cars and review some of the latest models. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here we have the all-electric brand new Subaru Solterra. So this vehicle shares its platform with the Toyota BZ4X. It's pretty much the exact same platform. They actually co-developed the vehicle because, um, you know, I believe Toyota owns a portion of Subaru. So to share the cost, they developed them together. Now there are three different trim levels for the Solterra. There's the premium, which starts at $44,995. Then there's the limited, and then there's the touring, which tops out at $51,995. So a lot of different selections there depending on what you want. Personally, I would pick either the Limited or the Touring because the base premium does lack a few features that some of the competition offer. Now, for those of you curious about range, this vehicle comes with a 72.8 kilowatt battery and it provides about 222 to 228 miles depending on what trim you get. So um, pretty close numbers, so you're not really sacrificing much if you choose some of the higher trims, but the very base premium trim will get you 228 miles of range, which isn't the best among the competition. Um, but it's not bad considering the price point is on the lower end for a all-electric crossover SUV. Now in terms of output, you're looking at 215 horsepower and 249 pound-feet of torque. Now DC fast charging is capable on this vehicle and Subaru says you can get up to 80% of range in just about one hour of DC fast charging on a 100 kilowatt charger. If you're going to charge this vehicle at home, you're looking at using the onboard 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger, which will get you a full charge in just about nine hours, which is pretty pretty decent for an at-home charging system. Now, Subaru prides itself in its all-wheel drive vehicles, and so this is no exception. You do have a dual motor setup with symmetrical all-wheel drive on the Subaru Solterra, which not all of the other competitors offer that as a standard. So you cannot get any other powertrain option aside from an all-wheel drive system, which is pretty nice for a starting price of $44,995. Now, Subaru also prides itself in its off-road capabilities. This does come with 8.3 inches of ground clearance standard from the factory. Now let's jump inside and talk about the interior. Starting off with the door panel, this is all soft touch material. It's a rubberized material, but it's not hard touch plastic here. Got a little bit of contrast in terms of leather colors, and then these are just your window switches over here, nothing too crazy. Jumping inside, you do have some cool looking leather seats. They're blue leather seats with some gray leather as well with perforation. Now you do get heated front seats as standard on this vehicle. Now let's jump inside and show you what the interior gauge cluster looks like. So you do have a standard seven inch all digital gauge cluster display, and then you have two options for this center display over here. You can either get a eight inch display, which does come with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, or this upgraded 12.3 inch display, which is really nice. I'd prefer this 12.3, that's why I'd get the higher trim levels. Steering wheel is pretty nice. Um, it does have a few other controls that I haven't seen in other Subarus. You've got your buttons to control the gauge cluster over here with your audio as well, and your volume buttons on the right hand side is your cruise control functionality. Now this thing does come with pretty much every standard safety feature you would expect on every other Subaru. Lane keep assist, line spot monitor, Monitoring, pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, all the standard stuff that you would want from a modern vehicle. Now, I do like this material over here. I do want to point out it's almost like a cloth like upholstery material, um, and it's kind of nice. It's just a little bit different. You have that over here on the passenger side as well. This center arm console, you do have your gear selector over here, which is a little bit odd. It almost looks like a controller for your center infotainment, but it's not. And then opening this little console up opens up your wireless charger. Now, this is kind of a see through glass, so that's kind of a unique use of materials. You have two cup holders over here and then you can slide this little armrest forward and back to cover this section up if necessary. Now up above, you do have a panoramic sunroof, which is not standard on the premium version, but you can get option on the higher trim levels. Now jumping into the second row, um, these are pretty comfortable and you do have quite a bit of leg room. Uh, Subaru actually says you got 35.3 inches of leg room and I can believe it. There's actually not really a need for any more space back here. It's pretty large, which is one of the benefits of having an electric vehicle. You do have two air vents over here, heated seats in the back, and you have two USB ports. The door panel looks exactly the same as the front seats. And I briefly want to talk about the speaker system. So standard Solterra gets six speakers, but you can get up to 11 if you get the more premium versions. Now for the rear, you get 23.8 cubic feet of cargo volume. And again, it looks pretty massive. I mean, it's not very tall, so you wouldn't really be able to fit a tall object in here, but it is pretty deep and you have a little bit more of that upgraded Harman Kardon speaker system back here. Underneath, you do have your uh, cables for your charging at home and a little bit of a storage compartment. And you do have a little tonneau cover if you need to hide stuff in the back. And then you do have an automatic button for closing of the tailgate. Now Subaru does offer an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on this vehicle. So that should help with some of 
of you that are concerned with the reliability of brand new all-electric vehicles, especially from Subaru, where this is the first ever all-electric Subaru in their lineup. So what are your thoughts on the all-electric Subaru Solterra? Would you take this over some of the competition like the Kia EV6, or are you going to wait a little bit longer until they improve some of the technology of all-electric vehicles? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for all of the weekly car videos. Also, check me out on all the social media down in the description below, at Shwayze underscore. Until next time, everybody, I hope you stay Shwayze, stay healthy, have a wonderful day.